There was a woman, and she lives in Jordan as well. She was 70 years old. She was illiterate, could not read or write. She did a very good job, mashallah, bringing up her sons and daughters in the best way. Obviously, at that age, no responsibilities. She would listen to the Quran so often. She loves the Quran. And then she just said, why don't I, why don't I take it a step further? So she said, I want to look at the Quran and just be able to see the word Allah. I, I want to recognize this word. So she asks her granddaughter, or grandson, sorry, grandson, please teach me how you write Allah. He taught her. So she, she would listen to the Quran, uh, listen to a recitation on tape, and she would hold the mushaf, and she would follow the word Allah. As he says it, she followed. She, she says, he's here, he's here, he's here. That's it. That's how much she was attached to the Quran. Do you think this woman loves Allah so much? Apparently, wait until you find out. <clears throat> she liked the fact that she could trace or follow the reciter with the word Allah, Allah. She wanted to learn more. So she asked her grandson to teach her the alphabet. How old was she? 70. She started learning Alif, Ba, Da, Tha. Then she learned how to connect them. Slowly, slowly, she could start follow the reciter as he read Quran. She was following and following him. And she could read by herself. At the age of 75, she memorized the Quran. A lot of our younger brothers and sisters say, you know, I'm too old now, I'm, I'm 25. How can I memorize Quran? You know, if I, if I were six, seven years old, I would have fresh memory and I would memorize. But now I'm old, I'm 30, I'm 40, I'm 50. This woman was 70 when she started. At the age of 75, she memorized the whole Quran. She passed away, may Allah have mercy on her. She is the mother of two of the greatest scholars of our time.